Hi, my name is Jackie Painter. I am a student in the program of environmental design here at the University of Colorado at Boulder, and I designed my own 3D printed shoes. About eight months ago, I began studying and working with 3D printers and what they could do. I think the original idea for 3D printing shoes came to me honestly just by wanting to use the new 3D printer at my school, and my love for fashion design, of course. I'm very interested in the future of technology and material, and I thought of the challenge of integrating technology into a primarily analog industry always associated with handcraft. So how 3D printing works is that it is a process of additive manufacturing, meaning material gets layered on top of each other so many times to eventually form an object of your choice. A 3D printer is usually a box or a rectangular robot looking machine that reads a 3D model file from your computer or a movable disc and slowly melts plastic, called filament, through a nozzle and layers it on top of each other. The layer height and thickness is all variable and user controlled, meaning you can control the detail of quality and density. Once you know how to handle these complex machines, 3D printing can bring about some amazing forms that are otherwise intangible by handcraft, therefore have never even been seen before. 3D printing can essentially read any digital 3D model produced, even forms that are digitally derived from complex algorithms or geometries resembling those found in nature. This concept is what I was trying to do, test the limits of what these machines could actually produce. The ancient Greek philosopher Plato stated that we are all actually in an everlasting search for the true forms, which only really exist in true nature. We can try to mimic nature, such as a tree, by drawing or photographing it, but it wouldn't really be the true tree, the true form. However, I believe that 3D printing brings us closer to the forms than we ever have been. We can take microscopic pictures and drawings in nature and now make them into physical form with the 3D printing something that we've never been able to do before. With my shoe, I wanted to explore this concept by mimicking something that resembled a true form and was therefore inherently enticing to people. I began looking at the drawings of the 19th century biologist Ernst Haeckel and mathematical forms as inspiration, finally deciding on a Voronoi grid structure. A Voronoi is a mathematical equation that produces a partitioned plane with any number of points into a web of complex polygons, such that each polygon contains exactly one generating point, and every point in a given polygon is closer to its generating point than to any other. To make this a little more clear, here is the grasshopper script I developed to get a certain number of points to create the Voronoi. Grasshopper is a graphical algorithm editing software that you can download for Rhinoceros 5, the 3D modeling software that I used. So back to the actual printing. There are a ton of materials that you can use now to 3D print with. It all depends on the kind of printer you have. PLA and ABS plastics are the most common material, compatible with most all 3D printers. ABS is slightly stronger than PLA, but PLA comes in a variety of colors and does better with detailing because it rarely warps. HIPS plastic, or high impact polystyrene, is great for beginners because it is similar in strength to ABS but rarely warps. NinjaFlex is a thermoplastic elastomer filament which was used to make the vamp part of my shoe. The sole of my shoe is printed from polycarbonate, a strong and impact resistant thermoplastic that's used in the making of bulletproof glass. Other materials like wood, brick, and clay blends, carbon fiber, and even some metals are also being printed now. This project proved to be extremely tough but rewarding. 3D printing is a very misconceived process to be almost magical and the printer just makes it for you in a matter of hours. This is definitely not the case and I learned this the hard way. Um, as you can see, I have some of my failures with me today. Uh, this is one print that I did that the heel completely messed up on. Um, and then here is another one that I did <laughs> that pretty much everything messed up on. Um, as you can see, the filament got all clogged towards the very beginning, and um, 
yeah, it just looks like a fuzzy mess now. So uh, what I learned in this process is that you really have to design for 3D printing. Your files have to take into account, obviously, the biggest factor, gravity. Um, and it also has to take into account the additive manufacturing process that it goes through. So in order to 3D print, um, you definitely have to take in 3D printing to, to your design in Rhinoceros and Grasshopper, the two programs that I used. But doing this project has made me really, really knowledgeable of all things 3D printing. And I am proud to say that I am very capable now of starting with my company, Form. Uh, look for me on Kickstarter soon. Um, I will be sure to put the link up on my website. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing my shoes.